for our um, Florida individuals who know me, I am Michelle Mers. I'm the crazy Florida HR person for the poor people in Michigan um, that don't know me. Um, feel lucky um, that you don't know me. They be glad that you have Sarah. She's normal. I'm not. Um, <laughs> um, anyway, so I uh, am the HR manager of Florida. I'm Michelle, I sit in the Paradise region. We um, are um, on the east coast of Florida. Um, and I think that we have 25 offices in Florida. And um, yes, every day is like Florida man down here. We have lots and lots of fun stories. Sarah can attest to that. We have lots of fun, but we will uh, teach you not about fun Florida man stories today. Unfortunately, we will teach you about Paylosity. Maybe at so the end, I will time. share my, what? Maybe at the end, if there's time. Hey man, you can teach me about Michigan man stories. I mean, we can make something up. There's no such thing as Michigan man. All right. All right. Share screen. I want to share Paylosity screen. All right, so you can see my Paylocity screen? Yes. All right, so we created this individual to be a uh, Florida individual. So if you aren't recognizing the company ID, don't panic. Um, his username is the cap. And we'll put in his, I'm gonna skip all those because Sarah didn't give me the answers. I didn't set him up. All right. So his name is Captain America. And I kind of wish that you would have put his photo up there. I didn't think about that. That actually would have been. Oh, man. <laughs> come on. All right. So today I'm going to request off around the 4th of July because I have all these hours to burn and I feel like it. So I'm going to go into my self-service uh, self portal. That's where you wanna be whenever you are requesting time off. Um, a lot of times people are trying to go into time and labor, but the best and easiest way is to go into your self-service portal. Um, you have all of these other cool little things this is the box that you're looking for. And it's this tiny little button right here. So you click more and submit time off request. So if I wanted to um, go over to my different types of PTO, I have PTO, which is your paid time off. LTS, which is your long-term sick. Um, this is for any time that you are going to be out that is longer than a week for something that is related to a illness um, that's not COVID related. Um, we can talk about that uh, if you have any questions about that. But like if you ever were to get like the flu or let's say that you need surgery or things along those lines, we can utilize it if you have it. A lot of times um, some people have it, some people don't have it. If you have any questions and if you do, let us know. But we did have previous um, plans whenever we had acquisitions that had sick time or large banks of sick time for people that we've rolled into these buckets that instead of basically telling you, no, you don't have any of this time anymore, we put it into these for you as part of those mergers and acquisitions. So you may or may not have it depending on when you were acquired or when you joined us. So you may see in your balances and LTS, that's what that is if you have it. Jury duty, if you ever get called to jury duty, you would select that. 
and bereavement if you ever were to need those days as well. But I'm just going to select PTO because I'm the captain and I want to take some time off. Um, if you just need one day, you would click single day. If you're going to click multiple days, you would click multiple days. If your shift includes a weekend, as if you work Saturday and you work Sunday, you want to include weekends. If it does not, please do not conclude weekends. I don't want to charge you for a PTO um, on a weekend. You don't want Saturday PTO taken out. There's no reason for us to charge you for a PTO hour or eight or whatever for weekends. Um, so let's say that I'm going to take off a whole week. You can click on your start date. Okay, so the fourth falls on a Sunday. I will click Monday, end date, click Friday. If your shifts are different times than a regular start and end time, you may want to put different times here and I can explain different as to why you would do a different time um, here in a moment. But if it's just a full day that you're doing, you just have to put the eight hours and then my note can be I can spell cool all right now let's say that I wanted to take the Friday off before the fourth just a single day but I only want to take about four hours I'm going to go in, click on July 2nd, but I want it to take off starting at noon. End time, not 5 a.m. It's going to tell you how many hours that you're requesting. Okay, so if I leave at noon, that's also including my lunch, but my day's only an hour. So now I'm gonna do a four hour. I'm gonna hit submit. Oh no, I forgot my type. I'll select PTO. Hit submit. You can also check the status of your time off request. In here, it'll show you if it's still pending, as if your supervisor, your manager, whoever, has yet to approve or um, deny here also if you wanted to say I said that I screwed this one up I can go in here and delete the request I can also check my balance as well okay I still have 67 left because I haven't used any so I still have available nothing has been approved yet anything back to Sarah? um Go back to status. I just approved and denied. Sweet. So Sarah approved me for my week off because I'm the captain, but she denied me the four hours on Friday. You're so mean. We really need him here that day. I mean, he's a superhero. Why? Okay. All right. I guess I'll come to work that day. So. Are there any questions on requesting days? I can't see the chat. I've been keeping up with the chat. It's just um, PTO questions mostly. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. And um, to Michelle's point that um, that link that you click in employee self-service portal, will take you to this time and labor square. So you could also go directly to time and labor, but most of the time you're logging in and self-service portal is what's gonna come up. So it's 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 just as easy to go and click that link than do the drop down and go to time and labor, but it's gonna take you to the same place. This is just faster and easier. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's more direct. I'm Sarah. Oh, Michelle. The 40 hours will only come out of her bank after it's used, correct? So that's 67 correct. will go down? Okay. Yes. Um, so you will see, and it's not an even. So basically, whenever you're thinking, okay, 
I'll have 27 hours left. Let's say a pay period is in between these. You're going to have probably about, if it, depending on how long captains worked with us, you might have like 4.6 some odd hours attached to the 27 or the 67 because of what you've accrued working 80 hours or whatever. I mean, there's that algorithm too. So, you know, it's not going to be a straight 27. Um, I mean, it does show that to you, but if you were to ever go and look to see what your balance is and you don't understand it, you can always ask us too. Um, ooh, I didn't know that it showed you all that. It'll show you your time off history. That's cool. What? All right, I'm gonna stop sharing. I will let you go, Miss Sarah. Okay. I'm gonna mute me because I have traffic behind me. Literally getting eaten by a cat. Okay, I'm gonna, can you guys see my login screen? Yep. Okay. So I am also going to log in as the cat. Okay. So it takes you to the same employee self service um, screen that you saw logging in with Michelle. Um, so there's a couple other things that you can do. Um, in within Paylocity. So the first one is to, you can update your own employee record. Um, and I just did this myself. Um, hold. By going to HR and payroll. And if you go to, gosh, it feels like you guys probably know this better than I do. Okay, so from here, direct, you can just make your changes directly. Um, so let's say I don't live in Orlando. I actually live in Miami because, you know, sometimes the cat needs a break. Um, and I don't like to be called cat. Sometimes I like to be called the cat because I'm an Avenger and I'm important. And my phone number is wrong. I'm gonna save those changes. And then <laughs> it's gonna ask me, the current employee is 102 years old. Are you sure this is correct? I said, yes. That's not normally gonna to happen to you when you make your, make your changes. So then what's gonna happen next is um, one of the administrators, so Julie, Michelle, myself, are gonna get a notification that there's pending changes to be made. Um, and I'm wondering why, well, you know what? I guess it's just letting me save them directly, but I guess if there's further changes that need to be made that are more tied to um, like tax imp implications or direct deposits, things like that, that's going to be um, sent to approval for Michelle or Julie or myself, and then we would approve those changes in the record. Um, so if you make some changes, you might not be able to see them right away, but don't panic. They're not, you know, it did not work. It's just that there's a further approval that's needed. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you, and, and a lot of you guys have been using this, and I'm really excited about that. Um, so the more we can spread the word about it, um, our impression. So if you want to um, publicly award somebody for doing an excellent job, if you just go to the, the star impressions, you can award an impression. So I'm going to award Miss Michelle Mers. And she has a great um, motivation for doing this velocity training has really motivated me. Do my best work. So I'll be sent out. So the um, Michelle will get, I think, a notification. There will be um, an approval. So it'll It'll, it has to be approved before it gets on the board and then it's there for all of the world to see. Um, so if you have a, a coworker or you know really anyone in the organization that you think is doing a job and needs some extra kudos, this is a great way to do it. And then it shows up on the community. 
So if you go to community, um, it's kind of just like um, our own little Facebook wall. So um, Sharon did an impression for, um, or Lori received help from Sharon. So Sharon got an impression from Lori McCarran. Um, and it's just a nice thank you to your, your coworkers. Um, and then if we have any announcements that we make, we have, you can kind of refer back to them here. Um, and then you can interact with the messages too. So I am happy that this impression was awarded. So I'm gonna add my smiley face here. Um, so Sharon, it looks like you've been doing a really good job. Everyone wants to thank you. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And then, you know, birthdays and anniversaries show up here too. So it's just a nice little kind of interactive tool that we can use um, within the organization. Um, so that is impressions and community. Is there anything else that you guys have questions on? I haven't been looking at the chat. So let me check that real quick. I got you, I was handling it. Oh, good, okay. I was so, tag um, teaming you. I like it. So, I mean, I know we've had Paylocity for um, almost exactly a year now. So you guys have had a chance to kind of live and work in it. Um, I know we have some newer employees that haven't had, you know, the full year experience with it, but um, I mean, it's pretty straightforward once you, when, you know, once you kind of get the hang of it, um, but Michelle and Julie Vance and myself are always here for questions. So if you get stuck with anything, you know, just let us know and we can definitely help you out. Um, is there any other questions that you guys can think of while we're on here? Okay, so the reason we did this was there was kind of a rash of um, requesting PTO issues that we just wanted to make sure that everyone was on the same page of exactly how you could request it. Um, if it wasn't working, you know, there might be some reasons why. So we just wanted to make sure that you guys had um, all of the right information to be able to request your time off because we want you guys to enjoy and use your time off. Okay, well, um, I guess we will give you guys some time back in your day. But thank you for um, paying attention and joining us on this first and third at three. All right. Thank Have a good you. rest of your day. Bye. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, what, what? Okay. So Suzanne Martin says, who approves PTO? Our manager does not know how to use. Susan, Suzanne, we are going to be teaching our managers how to do that. Yeah, a lot That's of the time, a, and, 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 and I'm speaking, I guess, for more so for Michigan, we want the managers to approve the time off. And so we are going to work on the training for the managers to actually get in the system and do it. Sometimes it's a combination of um, the RSEs would approve it, depending on, I guess, what the agreement is with, with their manager. Um, or sometimes, you know, if you email um, me or Julie or, or Michelle and with your manager's approval, you know, we can go in and approve it too, but ideally it should be your manager going in and approving it because generally we don't have an idea of the day-to-day -day in your office and, and the coverage and all of that. 